Now let's talk about the arrays and tuple. What are they and why it's useful in TypeScript? So first, let's talk about the array. We already familiar with the array and how we can create the array in TypeScript, but let's one more time go with the fruits. And I'm going to, I'm trying to define it as an array, but TypeScript says that, hey, I don't know what is array. So if I say array, it's complaining that you need to give this something T kind of thing. We will learn about that later. But for now, I'm not able to do, do that. So I'm going to define fruits is going to be an array of mango, then orange, and then apple. Okay, so we have defined this very nicely. And if I hover over this one, you will see that its type is any. What that mean? If I have a true here, TypeScript says that, okay, that's not an issue because it's an anything, it can hold anything. So what if later I say, hey, fruits is just mango, or maybe initially I can say fruits is just a mango, actually it's going to be fruits. TypeScript to say that, oh, no, no problem. Even after that, no problem. <laughs> and maybe after that I can say, hey, type, type of script this is a boolean thing again no problem but we can solve this problem by defining that hey this fruits is an array of string so first you need to type the the type of each of the element so what is the element mango what is the element orange apple this is the main one and what is the type it's a string so after that we need to give the array uh, symbol this is square brackets and this is the type for each element. Just by doing that, you can see TypeScript is complaining that, hey, true should be not there. Okay, I removed it. Then it says that you are trying to assign a string to the, to the variable where the type is an array of a string and same for the Boolean. So you cannot do all these things. And this means now we are strongly typed uh, fruits and we will not be able to do any kind of error. And this is really, really great thing in uh, the TypeScript. And by doing that, by defining it an array, we will be able to use lots of autocomplete uh, like uh, properties or method you call it uh, available for the arrays, just like length, map, pop, push everything is available here but if i didn't have that typescript says that okay it's an any so you can see it's getting this by type inference so it says that okay it should be a string uh, something so i can use the push and that's great i can say grapes uh, it's grapes yeah okay but later i said that hey it's uh, it's going to be true and now if I say fruits and I say dot, hey, I lose the, the autocomplete and all the property. That's why it's absolutely and extremely important to define the types in the TypeScript. But the real important thing here to actually understand is the tuple or tuple, whatever you call. So tuple is a concept which is not actually available in JavaScript, but TypeScript provide it. And if you are from Python world, you may know about the tuple. So why we need a tuple? So tuple is just like a array. So we can define the tuple something like person. And person can have the name, something like this. Person can have a company name and person can have a zip code, something like that. Okay. So how we differentiate that this is a tuple and this is an array? First, let's understand why we need the tuple. So what is the problem with the array? In this array, you can see it's not a fixed length. So we can add any number of fruits here. So just like here, I have added. Second, it doesn't care about the sequence. I can move the grapes here. It's not going to complain. And that's the reason we need the tuple. Why? Because tuple, if we have three things, it's always going to be the three things. And the sequence is very important. The first one is always going to be the name. Second one is always going to be the company name. Third one is always going to be the zip code. So how the TypeScript is going to differentiate between all these? Before that, let's have an analogy. So here 
I have a Tiffin box. So this Tiffin box have four element or four chambers. In each chamber, you put only one type of food. If first one is having a curry, you will not going to add a juice, fruit juice on that. First one is always going to be the type as curry. Second one, if it's a fruit, you are not going to add any other thing inside that. It's a fruit one. So each element can have different type of food, but you cannot mix that. And if the first one is for the curry, it's always going to be the first one for the curry. You, it's not going to be changed uh, when you transfer the tiffin from one place to another place. It's always going to be the same sequence. And the important thing to notice here is it is always going to have all only four chambers. So this is the fixed one. Only three sequence matters and type matters. But the question arises, how TypeScript know that this is a tuple? Because I can do something like, let's say I have a real example for tuple is RGB color. So color is uh, 244, 255, maybe zero. That's good. But since this is a normal array and the TypeScript uh, inference that it's an array of number, I can do this and uh, I can say, hey, just spread color and add 255 after that. And no issue on that. Because if I log color, we can get these things. But what if you define it as a tuple? How to define tuple? Just use colon. And remember, we have something like this. It's an string array, but this time we will define something like using array. Remember, we defined the object like this name and something like that. Similar to that, we need to use this square bracket. And inside that, I will say it's a tuple of number, number and number. Just by doing that, you can see now TypeScript says that, hey, it's a tuple which doesn't have four numbers it's only have three numbers that's really great and that's why we are getting this error although there is a hack you can use push to do the thing but uh, that's not a problem because if you try to you try to access the fourth one which is having the third index you will get error but we can get that second one because typescript know that color is having only three element and the second index is the last one which is zero you can get but although you have added by somehow you will not able to do that it's giving uh, but typescript is complaining so that's uh, the power of typescript but things get really really interesting when you understand this thing so it's an array of first a string second also a string and third is a number this means if i try to say person and i spread person and maybe i can do something like that i can say the second one is going to be a string something like that and at that point you can see this typescript is complaining that hey second element which is the third one in the sequence is a number not a string you're trying to add a string to the number field so this is the power of tuple over the uh, you can say array and this is why the tuple is introduced inside the typescript one really real example is the uh, react hooks so if you know about react hooks we have seen something uh, let's say set a state so what does set a state look like it's like here uh, i can comment it so it's here like form and then set form and this is use state okay so what we are doing we have a tuple where the first element is always going to the state value second element is always going to be the function which set the value of the state and this is the function it return this tuple so I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Bitfilms YouTube channel. Like Bitfilms on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and LinkedIn. We will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.